Hey guys, welcome back to the hangar. Right, so we're moving on to sort of part two. Well, part two for everybody else. This has been constant for me. Um, of the Dynam Catalina Retract mod. Um, so we have split the Catalina in half, which wasn't too difficult. Just popped it apart at the original glue seams. And... Uh, I thought I'd sort of press along a bit because uh, I noticed a lot of you guys uh, found that <coughs> that first video uh, obviously quite intriguing. There was quite a uh, there was quite a good response to that, so I'm presuming there's a lot of people out there that want to know if this will work on a Catalina. Obviously, it's uh, they're they're old models now; they've been running a long time. However, I do think they still make them. Um, so. I'll show you guys how I've done this and then basically you can sort of take that and uh, sort of make your own sort of uh, <coughs> mechanism sort of with the way this works. So I've managed to get as far as actually sorting out all the tolerances in the retract and getting it fitted into the fuse large. Obviously there's going to be a lot of filling and bits when we're done. Um, so we're sitting inside like that I'll say this has been a hell of a lot of messing around and adjusting and putting it back together and adjusting and yeah I've been working on this probably for about it's got to be up to 20 28 30 odd hours so right guys what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll show you how I've made the mechanism We've got our bulkheads made. I'll uh, I'll show in a moment how we've made this and what it's for. We've got all our bits here for the retracts. So if you guys want to sort of just sort of see what bits I'm using and how I've done it, then you can sort of you can have a go. So starting off, we've got a modified set of FMS F18 gear legs. So that's a single leg which I've modified. Now I've had to round off this section, pull the pin out, round off this section to allow allow this to rotate. I'm going to have to modify this in a minute. Um, we have got standard size retract. I've got a metal trunnion in that because it's going to be taking the shock on landing. Normal top plate, couple of um, couple of control rod uh, ends with ball joints in them and we've got a screw here which we're going to cut the end off this is going to become our control rod we've got ourselves a little mount here which i'll show you what's done with that shortly but that's basically off of an old edf with one of the mounting brackets a few uh, nuts and bolts your chosen wheel now this is sort of what's made it all work is this bracket here that bracket basically is, is an old set of retracts, aluminium retracts. And this is going to act as our main uh, pivot point and our main mount for the retracts, which will obviously mount to the bulkhead and the retract will sit off of it. So now I've waffled on and we've gone through all the bits. Let's quickly uh, put the retract together. What I've done is with this one, this is a dummy one. So it's fully movable, um, just to show the operation of it without having to keep it.
right <clears throat> so that's what we're looking like So there you go guys, if you want to try and make something similar to that and have a little mess about with it, you never know, it could work. <coughs> on to what we've been working on, so we have one of the retracks installed, um, I've yet to do the other side because um, we're going to do the bulkhead. Um, so <coughs> I'll show you the operation of it, that's how it sits inside compared to obviously how they both sit inside. Right. I've just put that bit of foam there for the door for the time being just to replicate what it's going to do. Right. Wobbly handy, so I'll do this one handy. It will touch back in, it does sit out slightly, a bit more than probably the real one, but uh, it's, it, uh, it was a bit of a scale look. Right guys, so there we go, success, it works. We'll uh, we move on to the other side and uh, the next thing we'll be working on once we've done the retracks, <coughs> we're going to also have the uh, blisters open. I'll put them on a servo and also what we do is we'll tie them up so as the uh, back section of the blister opens we're going to have the actual uh, defensive machine guns in there that swing out into the open gap and then when you shut them they'll swing back in blister will close back up so we'll go to town on it now where uh, we've put some time and effort into it right <clears throat> we'll do one more attraction because i actually think it looks really cool and we've got to do a lot of filling uh, it will get there. Right guys, thanks for watching and we will see you in part three. Cheers guys.